Many British companies have stopped selling certain products to EU countries since January 2021. However, Great Britain does not see the problems as a consequence of Brexit. Of course not. But according to a new study, exports from the EU to Great Britain have fallen significantly because of Brexit. British European trade has been significantly disrupted since British uh, participation in the EU single market and the European Customs Union ended. That's what was written by the researchers from the London School of Economics and Political Science, the LSE, in an article published on Tuesday. Accordingly, the Brexit vote in, June, uh, vote in June 2016 had hardly any impact on trade between the EU and the United Kingdom, but that changed with the entry into force of the trade agreement agreed on Christmas Eve 2020, although in, from Germany there was changes from 2015. We assume that the implementation of the new trade relationship has led to a sudden and sustained drop in imports from the EU by 25% compared to the rest of the world, their post said. British exports to the EU, on the other hand, only fell to a small extent and only temporarily. However, the data would indicate that many UK companies have halted exports since January 2021. It seems the UK has stopped selling a lot of products to smaller countries in the EU, said uh, co-author Thomas Preyer. The trade agreement with the EU should ensure that hardly any tariffs are incurred. However, trading costs have increased because of the a treaty, said co-author Thomas Sampson to the Center for Economic Performance. These changes are making the UK a harder place to do business, he said. Despite the agreement, the bureaucratic burden for exporters has increased significantly. The UK government claims declines in, in foreign trades are the result of global problems due to the pandemic. Rather, Great Britain could conclude significantly better trade agreements due to Brexit. And we all know that this is a lie, by the way. It was one and it's not better. So far, however, there is no evidence for this. After talks with Irish and Northern Irish political and business representatives, the Austrian Minister for Europe, Caroline Edstadler from the ÖVP, expressed optimism about a solution to the Northern Ireland Protocol, at least. She has the feeling that everyone is willing, said the minister in Belfast during a visit. The implementation of the agreement reached between London and the EU is considered one of the biggest points of contention between the two sides since Brexit. I don't necessarily see quick solutions here. That's what Ed Stadler said. The first thing to do now is to wait for the elections in Northern Ireland next week. However, the role of the EU is to stick with it, not give up, to provide support when it comes to finding a way of implementation, said the minister. At the same time, Ed Stadler underlined that the European Union had made it very clear that there will be no new negotiations. The Northern Ireland Protocol has been decided and their talks have also shown that the problems will be solved with it, they, that, and that, that can be made within it that it can be prevented that there's again a border between Ireland and Northern Ireland and that trade and the economy there can flourish. And the major British bank HSBC also suffered a slump in profits in the first quarter due to provisions for loan defaults. Pre-tax profit fell 27% to $4.2 billion according to Europe's largest bank. Analysts surveyed the HSBC had expected an even sharper slump to $3.72 billion. The bank set aside $600 million for expected credit losses in the first quarter after releasing um, $400 million in reserves in the same period last year because of the better economic outlook. But inflation and the war in Ukraine are currently weighing on economic expectations, the bank said. Therefore, share buyback programs are unlikely this year. So in economics, there's a lot going on at the moment and a lot of this co still covers up Brexit, but we still see it peeking through already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bis gleich.